Now, Kenya and Netherlands have embarked on a project aimed at supporting sustainable fishing in Lake Turkana. The initiative will help in restocking the lake, which is facing a bleak future due to overfishing and undersized fishing. Turkana County Governor Joseph Atnanok has said the study will also help in setting up a multi-million fish market in the region. Lake Turkana, the world's largest permanent desert lake and home to the world's largest population of Nile crocodiles, hippos and more than 20 fish species, is facing its biggest survival battle yet. Overfishing, pollution and undersized fishing are threatening to wipe out the lake this century, according to environmental experts. The lake, which supports more than a quarter million indigenous people directly, is a major player in the region's socio-economical landscape. Kenya and the Netherlands have embarked on a study that will help address the challenges facing the lake. The economic analysis on Lake Turkana will help come up with the best ways to support the lake's delicate ecosystem and the surrounding communities as well as improve food nutrition in the area. This is uh, an assessment which we had discussed uh, six, seven months ago with the ambassador and agreed that uh, the Dutch government is going to support Turkana do that assessment of Lake Turkana so that we can see what potentialities we have in the fish industry and how we can be able to exploit it, uh, bringing into focus the private sector but also government and development partners to, to support that effort. Dutch ambassador to Kenya Martin Brower says the study is coming at a critical time when climate change is also threatening the existence of the world's largest desert lake. Uh, the analysis shows, uh, as the governor already said, that there is potential. So uh, what we would like to do now is just to uh, get some extra considerations in to see uh, whether it would be feasible really to uh, to set up a program of, uh, of cooperation uh, to strengthen the fishery sector here in Turkana and in, uh, in Marshavid. Experts say any negative impacts to the lake's ecosystem is likely to disrupt the local economy, leading to an increase in conflicts in the highly volatile area. Reporting for Easy Friday, I am Dutamokami.